right, another set of problems that you might have to deal with is uh, maintaining your density when you have a power supply change. A satisfactory exposure is made using a 12 pulse generator at 40 mass. If a repeat exposure is needed using a two pulse generator, what mass would be required? So obviously we need a change in mass to maintain density. Uh, let's look at the power factors. Each type of generator that you might be asked to compensate for in this type of a problem is listed here. We have, you know, single phase, one pulse, two pulse, and three phase, six pulse, three phase, 12 pulse. They are each assigned a specific power factor, uh, one through four, one being the least efficient, four being the most efficient. Our formula is output factor one over output factor two equals mass two over mass one. So they're inversely proportional. And unfortunately, you're not going to have this output factor key here uh, on your test. So you're going to have to memorize these. Now, output factor one, uh, we're looking at a 12 pulse generator. So that would be four. Output factor two was a two pulse generator. So that's going to be two equals mass two. We don't know. We're trying to solve for that. Uh, over mass 1, which was 40. That's a 4. Uh, reduce this down to 2. Cross multiply. 80 equals, it's going to be 1x or x. So 80 mass would be needed. Um, and let's just look at it uh, in retrospect here. We went from a higher efficiency generator, 12 pulse, to a, uh, you know, at 40 mass, to a lower efficiency generator. Uh, so basically, our output factors went from a 4 down to a 2. Uh, in other words, it got divided in half, so we would have to double our mass if it's inversely proportional. That's what we did. We went from 40 mass to 80 mass. All right, let's look at another problem. Uh, let's read the problem here. A satisfactory exposure is made using two pulse generator at 150 mass. What mass would be required if a six pulse generator is used? All right, so the formula is output factor one over output factor two equals mass two over mass one. All right, output factor one. So it's a two pulse generator. So single phase one pulse was one, single phase two pulse, output factor was two. And then over output factor two, this was a six pulse generator, so that was three. And there it is, three. Let's get rid of that. Equals mass two, which we don't know, over mass one which was 150. Now we can't reduce this, so we're just going to cross multiply. Uh, 300 equals 3 times x. I'm going to divide by 3 each side of the equation. 100 equals x. Our new mass is 100. So that's how you'd solve for an output factor equation. Well, I hope this has helped. Uh, thanks again for watching, and please feel free to look me up on my blog, Facebook, Twitter, my YouTube channel. Any of those places uh, will allow you to comment, ask questions if you need. Thanks for watching. Uh, also, subscribe if you'd like to be a part of the Topics in Radiography newsletter recipient group.